Hello. I am Oralim Anderson Graves Simmons, president and founder of the Martin Luther King Association of Asheville and Buckham County. I have the honor of presenting Sophie Dixon with the Rosa Parks Award. Sophie Dixon has distinguished herself as a leader and works tirelessly to uplift her community through youth mentorship, food sustainability projects, and enhancing community relations. She is the former president of the Asheville Buncom County chapter of the NAACP and Shiloh community leader and was named Asheville's Volunteer of the Year in 2019 by Asheville City Council. Born and raised in Stumptown, once a black neighborhood within the boundaries of Asheville Riverside Cemetery. Stumptown residents were later evicted and their homes destroyed as part of urban renewal and the community no longer exists. Dixon graduated from Stevens Lee High School, moved to Shiloh with a husband and three children and worked at Taylor Instruments for more than 35 years, earning an associate degree from Asheville Buncom Community Technical College while working. Dixon's efforts and dedication played a role in the founding of radio station WRES and the Goon Bay Festival and preservation of the YMI Culture Center. She has facilitated many meetings of the Shiloh Community Association and led the efforts to build a roadside stand for the community gardens, which affords the neighborhood with a small scale entrepreneurial opportunity. The Community Garden Committee partnered with the project Lightened Up Summer Program Day Camp to create a mural depicting the historical legacy of the Shiloh community, which was placed outside of the Shiloh AME Baptist Church. She enlisted help from Warren Wilson College to lead a workshop about building a living structure. Neighborhood residents and youth then created a living roof over the bench. This created a shady place for community members to rest and it helps to prevent erosion. In an intentional effort to build community between generational residents and new residents. She has been involved in welcoming Habitat for Humanity, new homeowners into the community at the key ceremonies. Active in her church, Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Dixon serves as treasurer of the Mount Zion Community Development Corporation, which is part of the $6 million development plan for South Pack Square, known as the Block. She has received many honors and recognitions for her outstanding work, including the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Service Award presented by the Martin Luther King Association of Asheville and Buckham County. Continuing to be involved with many boards and commissions, both local and state, 
She has been described as a perfect example of active retirement and has shown many how you can make a large impact by simply offering your time and talents where you live, work, play, and pray. And now, Miss Sophie Dixon, congratulations. My name is Sophie Dixon. I was Sophie Ware, born and raised here in Asheville, North Carolina, in Stumptown. And uh, I um, done a lot of things. I'm not. I'm trying to figure out where to start. Uh, right now, currently, I'm uh, I'm working at the WRES radio station on a daily basis where uh, I worked with John Ella John Hayes and we started the radio station 22 years ago and he left us in June, he passed and I'm there. So it's it's kind of a challenge, but uh, so far we, we've got good support and technical support and uh, we're keeping the station, radio station going for the community. Well, I really have known any other times in my whole life. I've been one thing after another, and I've been, I'm 84 years old, 84 in July, and uh, I've lived through a lot of lot of challenges. Uh, even starting at the time that I grew up, uh, as I mentioned, I grew up in in a little area called Stumptown, that you just no longer there. It became was part of the removal of uh, communities, and so with Stumptown is not there anymore. Um, and then I uh, lost parents so at a very early age. So uh, I uh, was uh, pay, uh, uh, red relatives took us in and, and we survived. Um, so, you know, just you knew you had to keep going. And I've uh, just been very fortunate to have great people in my life and, uh, and good support. Well, currently what's happening in the community that we something new that we're starting on is in the Asheville community, the reparation uh, project that's gearing up. And uh, so we're, we're getting right in the middle of that. I'm not going to be on the committee. However, uh, we were uh, the shallow community and other legacy neighborhoods uh, were uh, get, given an opportunity to have two representatives on the commission. And we do have our two people. And so we will do everything we can to hopefully, and I don't want to predict the outcomes, but have positive outcomes that are going to really happen in the community and for the community. So that's our latest challenge. And uh, I, I have great hope for it. Well, awards are nice, and, and it's nice to, you know, if, if it's what you recognize, it's not, I don't think you go into it for that, but if it happens, uh, it's uh, it's it's really nice to be recognized, and uh, I have had a couple of other times that uh, I was recognized by the uh, the, the King's Martin Luther King Association group and others, and uh, I've got a wall full of plaques, but they, and they're nice. So uh, uh, people, you notice a lot of times, and sometimes you're not, and that's but that's not why you go into it. But uh, but if if you get recognized, it's 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 really a nice thing to happen. <laughs> 